Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb B and you're very, very welcome. Well, today we're going to have a look at the best performing map on the workshop at the time of recording. It's currently number one on the Steam popular charts. It's by a creator who is very well respected, but not a map maker. In fact, they've got over 150 assets on the workshop. You may well be aware of them. Now, this is kind of their first map. It is the third incarnation of this map on the workshop under their name. So I'm imagining that it's kind of slightly evolved on each occasion. So I'm not going to call it a first map, but it is kind of sorta. <laughs> okay. So anyway, if you're all okay with all of that, let's crack on and uh, shall we do a daily reminder for a change? That's right, hitting the like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people, and helps we grow a little bit more every single day. So thanks for your support. Now, don't laugh. Today's map is Dnipra, Dnipro Petrosk, <laughs> with road grid by Targa. <laughs> I've been practicing and I still got it wrong. Uh, there's your start square. Uh, as you notice, there are plenty of roads because it's with road grid. Here is your terrain height, and um, it's based obviously on the real location, so that is the real terrain height, more or less. And the resources. Are drawn out apparently the uh, green the, the fertile land is like private sector and industrial is with the ore okay uh, now you're going to need snowfall mass transits and industries and you are going to need them there's a little bit of a write-up if you like reading up on things we are using the vanilla temperate theme and the realistic 1.2 LUT and those little bits of reading I guess is all helpful if you want to try and recreate the name uh, recreate the city with the name Dnipra Propetrosk. Propetrosk? Yes, I think that's right. <laughs> Thanks, Google. <laughs> that helped me butcher this beautiful language. Hey, anyway, where were we? We are. Um, we're following the roads. There's um, a, a huge amount of infrastructure in place, uh, but it is all very much based on. Oh, look, Triffids. Triffids. Can we have a look underneath? We can't even look underneath. Oh dear. Yes, um, this is a, a copy. A copy with all the roads from the overlays. And from what I can tell, I haven't looked at it in great detail, but I have spent some time looking at it. It does seem to match up. It does seem to match up really quite well indeed. So um, I think the credit has to be, because this is not everybody's cup of tea map. Every time we do maps like this, they always perform very poorly in the um, the viewer's choice top 10 at the end of each month. Uh, I think that's a shame because when these are done well, like here you see, we've got the trams, the trams where the trams should be. Uh, yeah, we, it just, I would like to see one of these maps do well. And I think if any map like this is going to do well, it might be today's. Now, there are some issues with it. Believe me, there are some issues with it. For example, coming up here, you may notice some stationary traffic. Well, that's not because the game's on pause. Oh, I only wish it was. In fact, this is the worst of the entire map right here. See the traffic turning around. We've got enough time for, well, just, no, are we? We'll just sit here. This is real speed. We're just going to wait. And we'll just wait a little bit longer. And we'll wait a bit. Ah, see how many cars we can get around this corner. Uh, one and two. That's your lot. <laughs> That's your lot. So I can see ongoing problems here until, yes, of course, Traffic Manager present edition, if you want to go about fixing it. I'm sure um, the likes of Biffer and Samba would enjoy playing with this map, trying to fix it. But trying to fix it and keep within, look how long that queue is. It's almost backing up onto the main road down there. Yeah, it's one of these maps that, uh, to fix it, but still keep it, true to the original city that is where the struggle is going to be i feel we're following the main road actually now this bit of road here doesn't look like it's part of the main road but having looked at the map this does appear to be i think it's the e50 i think this is part of the e50 that leads down into the town center and again i think this is the main route um, I can't remember which way it is. Uh, it is a left here. Yep, sorry, we've stayed on this route here. I do, I, it doesn't look like it's all part of the same route, but 
you know, it's, it's in bright yellow on Google Maps, so I guess it is. Uh, heading down into the Start Square now, the city centre, and uh, a little bit of traffic flow issue going on here, but not quite so bad. This is a chance of the traffic moving through here, and yes, lots of trams as well. Of course, for trams, you do need snowfall. Anyway, Start Square, which means somewhere down here should be an asset ready for reviewing. Here it is. And this one is uh, the contemporary low rise building version two by Nutty Crunch. And um, it's a rather sweet looking thing. I've got to say, I do you like contemporary is the word. I'm going to go with that contemporary design through and through. Shall we do factoids because factoids while we're here, got nothing better to do, have we? Uh, and again, today's factoid just kind of dates my book a little bit. So it may not be still true, but we'll go with it. Uh, the average person in the US Virgin Islands uses more supplied energy in a single day than the average person in Campuchia, yes kids, you heard that right, Campuchia, uses in 62 years. <laughs> now, okay, while the maths might still be right, I'm pretty sure Campuchia has uh, reverted back to Cambodia as a real name. But anyway, um, that's contemporary blah, 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 blah. House by Nutty Crunch. Do you like that? I like it a lot. Good work, Nutty. Back on to the networks, and we're going to head over. Look at this little turnaround bit with the trams. Very busy with the old lines there. And then up and over the bridge. And of course, don't mind too much the slope with the bridge with trams, because trams are slightly different beasts from trains. I've got more, more triffids making their way up the road. Yeah, lots of triffids with this map. Um, and this bridge, this does have shipping going through it. And I'll let you know, all the bridges on the map are just a smidgen or a lot in too low, I'm afraid, for the vanilla cruisers. Again, you can... Uh, yeah, more trees on the road of course with the bridges you can be uh you can be using the avo mod the advanced vehicles option which can bring in some smaller lower profile ships to um which way should we go should we follow the traffic we should follow the traffic for the moment but i'm th pretty sure we're supposed to be on the tram lines at the moment um yeah so you can use avo and get, find some lower profile ships to uh to stick in those uh, those waters and we're going across this way now although strictly speaking of course um because it's a vanilla map and uh, there's no word in the description about the avo i do have to um i do have to knock off points for shipping clipping just because just because them is the rules you know the rules of the show bend the rules for one i've got to bend the rules for all and then well what's the point of rules if you you know you just willy-nilly bend them it's like Enough of willy nilly, eh? Um, down this way, we've got uh, loads, loads of these little intersections that I'm sure are all based on real life uh, because the few that I've checked do appear to be based, if, if a little bit scraggly, based very much on real life. Uh, down this way, we're heading towards the edge of the map. We're not going to veer off here. We'll just uh, head underneath this bridge. And I think we'll then go and have a look at the rail. Now, sadly, Sadly, the rail isn't the best. See, the one get the feeling that I'm getting here is Targa has kind of got boards with it. Like here, we've got the rail, and we bear off on the right on the rail. And these are train lines, and we're going up the slope and into the tunnel, and then that emerges over here. So yeah, I just get the feeling that I'm, because this there's a hell of a lot of work gone into this, right? Okay, understatement, there is a hell of a lot of work gone into this. But I think that Targa's just got a bit bored with it at some point. Or maybe this is still work in progress and there'll be a version four coming along, maybe, which would be finely tuned and even more polished. I mean, I, I appreciate, oh, look, trees in, trees in the line here. This is clearly a branch line. I know it's an old joke and I've used it several times, but there's always somebody new to the challenge, to the channel even. Uh, and now we're gonna go elevated, which is fine. I don't know, it's a bit clunky. It could be smoother. Um, more triffids. <laughs> it could be smoother. And, uh, and down here, we've got more triffids all the way along the line, showing the heads through here, here and here, and here, and here. 
as well. And then we've got, look, cables. We have cables. Don't think I've seen these used in the map before. I mean, they don't do anything. They don't come from anywhere and they don't go to anywhere. But um, we have cables. <laughs> and, then we'd, and then across the river. Now, when we get across the river, this is an area that I did have a look at because, well, the line is just a mess. And I'm going to tell you what happens in real life on the other side of the river. This is all embankments. Okay, it's not elevated. It's all embankments. It doesn't drop down to the ground. It stays embanked across here. So we don't have any of these steep climbs and steep drops across these, uh, across these roads. It just stays embanked and then slowly comes down to ground around this area here, which is a huge good yardy type place from what I can tell from above. Now, there are some issues here. You may, I'm just gonna try and get this thing to glitch. There's some blueness to come somewhere. I saw some, where was it? I saw some, it was over here somewhere. Yeah, I reckon it's this stretch here. The bit here, we've got a branch, we've got a, a tree on this line, or a bush on the line there, there as well. Where, where did it go? There he is, there, I can see you. Where, I can, there, it's, look. And there's another bit down there as well. I'll tell you what the problem is, you see. It's the length between nodes. This is a huge segment. Like we've got, where's the node? Come on. There it is, there's a node. So there's one node there, and then the next node is all the way down here. There you go. That's a hell of a stretch. Let me see if I can't marquee select the, uh, uh, that's, uh, oh, that's wonky. Wonky, try again like that uh, okay we've got the bush on the line let me get rid of the bush off the line because that's that's cool oh hang on look what i'm doing to <laughs> ah, look at this this is magic magic the the magic bush eraser there <laughs> anyway uh, oh no it's popped back in <laughs> wonderful stuff anyway where were we yes so if i've selected all of that there and you can see it's just a huge segment all on its own um, maybe it was because we were running out of segments. I don't know. I haven't had a look at the stats. Uh, I have got the mod somewhere, but uh, I haven't looked at the stats. I can't imagine that we're running out of segments, so maybe we are. Um, or something weird. Anyway, we've got the same going on down here. Um, if I, there you go, from this node here, there's nothing for that whole stretch there. In fact, if I can grab, if I can grab there, you can see I can bend the entire bit like that. So uh, yeah, huge long segments causing um, causing the blue mantle effect just because it's just too long. And then we've got three segments right next to each other. <laughs> hey ho. Right, anyways, um, we'll come back and have a look at the shipping right after this intermission. I hope you're ready for a little bit of our beloved Zach. Zach, it's your turn. <laughs> Are you fed up with random vanilla buildings spawning in random locations? Do you want a specific type of building in a particular zone? They need the beginner's guide to theme management. Click the information button below. Okay, shipping routes. We have shipping routes. As I've told you, they all crash through the bridges. And the higher bridges, probably just about okay for the container ships but uh, not high enough for the cruisers, I'm afraid. That crashes through there. If we take a left turn here on this right angle, you can see we've got to go across the country a little bit there, just a little bit. Coming down the river here, center of the river here, and again, uh, through the bridge there. I don't mind these two lanes, it's uh, two lanes is fine. Crunch through the bridge here, two lanes is fine down here as well. Double bridge here and uh looking out for something very specific i'm sure we'll find it in a minute uh shall we go left i think we go left here um through this bridge here as well and then we get to go cross country right here as well um maybe the ships will make it over that maybe they won't don't know but anyway with um with so many shipwrecks <laughs> you'd expect to find some shipwrecks and shipwrecks we have let me uh, find them. Uh, we've got a few. These are obviously prop shipwrecks. And this one looks like it's hovering a little bit, just above water level. 
Now, is it or isn't it? Is that an optical delusion? I don't know. Maybe though, if we can find another one over here, that will answer our question. And the answer is, they are very much hovering. You got one on the riverbank here, which is kind of like, it's just kind of like wedged onto the riverbank. But the one next to it, the one behind it here, this one's literally hovering in mid air. Look, it's not touching anything. It's uh, anti-magnet, that is anti-magnet. It's sort of one of those uh, little things about the Ukraine, sorry, not the Ukraine, one of those things about Ukraine that you don't realize, and that is the uh, the anti-pole. It's, it's wonderful. Everything, every, anything metallic hovers. It's true. It really is. That is not true. I'm just making that up. Uh, I'm just dropping them down to a realistic height. Um, I'm probably going to move the, one of them's like muddied up, silted up there. I kind of like it. I'll move it out a little bit there. And that's kind of, yeah, if you get sunken ships, at least be slightly sunken. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do a perfect job. I don't care. I don't care enough. But I'm just uh, kind of pointing out to a minor, minor changes that will make very minor differences to the map and, and just hopefully make things a bit more slick. So anyway, we've got a lot going on, a lot going on. We've got um, a lot of trees on rail uh, up this way. And actually there's another rail line as well, which has got a lot of trees on. That'll be this one here. Uh, or look all the way down there to the fog. Yep. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well done. <laughs> uh, what more do we have? Oh, we've got eight. Hey, just the thing is, ignore all that. Huge amounts of build plane. Road layout uh, laid out exactly as it should be. So um, if you want to try and recreate the city, then this is a good, good place to do it. This is all industrial area. I did point out anything that is ore is industry. And um, yep, that's all, all there, all in place. Uh, all the uh, all the fertile land, when you see it, that's all like private area. I'm guessing the posh area, you know. We've got these park areas um, with, with slightly too deep lakes for my liking. And there's another one over here with a lake. Yeah, this is clearly a park over here. And uh, and it's just, uh, I've got the, uh, like a little, um, uh, what's the rail uh, railway goes around the, the park? It's like a, um, a touristy type there. What's it? I, I brain's gone. Maybe it's one of those little children's railways. I don't know. This I don't know about. Uh, I've looked at it. I've checked it. This is a real thing. Uh, I don't know what it does in real life. I do know, having checked Google, that uh, it does actually physically connect up. So if I just grab um, and just, I'm not going to do the world's greatest job again, but it should join up like that and that should join up like that as well. And there's some site kind of road going across it also. But um, yeah, if you know the area, could you let me know what specifically what this is used for? Because it looks really quite unusual and I'm curious. I want to know. It's obviously reclaimed, I would say. But yeah, please, please let me know. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, for commenting, for liking. App. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's your chance to vote on the map. We won't skip to the end. Your chance to vote on the map. Is it a one star map? Is it a five star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Well, only you can decide. If nothing else, I think we can all agree there's a lot of work gone into it. So aesthetically, I think it kind of looks like the area it's supposed to. It is a bit rough around the edges. It's nowhere near four stars, but I think it kind of deserves the third star. It's not pretty, but it clearly looks like it what it's supposed to. So for that, three stars. Detailing. Detailing is poor. I'm sorry, it's poor. Uh, more because of the amount of detailing that's required. And of course, the more detailed you get, the more chance there is for mistakes and so forth. So it's two stars for detail, I'm afraid. Gameplay potential. Look, if you want to build this city, then this city is a, this map is the perfect map for it. Um, otherwise, I'd be inclined to delete a lot of the roads and have a go just building a normal city on it. I'm going to give three stars for gameplay because it is playable. I didn't show you the water flow and there is water flowing down the river. So that is a good thing. So Dnipra, Dnipra Teska with Rhodes Grid by Targa. And I'm sorry, but my Ukrainian is not as good 
that's any other language because I can't speak any languages at all. I'm absolutely rubbish at languages. Oh, please give me some nice English maps. I could do most English words like Leicester and Norwich. Okay, thanks very much for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing, for joining me for another map in the What Map series. There'll be another one along tomorrow, um, and it's a creator you will recognize tomorrow. I've definitely done more than one map. About time, eh? Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.